This video is brought to you by Paradigm Human Performance. What's up peeps, today we're talking about safety culture. Is it bang on or is it BS? Let's get into the intro. What's up peeps, welcome back to Rebranding Safety. Rebranding Safety is the YouTube channel and podcast doing exactly what it says on the tin. We're here to change the perception of health and safety. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and all the other algorithm button me thingamajigs. Today we are talking about safety culture. This video is heavily informed and inspired by the book, The First Rule of Safety Culture, a counter C word manifesto by Carsten Bush. Make sure you stay till the end and I'll give my overall thoughts on the book. Uh, it's not a book review, just general kind of comments on the book. So first things first, a very quick, very brief history lesson on culture, paraphrased from the book. In the 50s, anthropology and sociology looked at culture in tribes and social groups. In the 60s, psychologists started looking at organisational culture. In the 80s, culture became part of management theory. And then just to complicate things further, safety culture was then mentioned after Chernobyl in their uh, response report to that. Following on from that, the academics have never really settled on a clear definition. So. We're actually not even sure what we're talking about here when we say the word culture or safety culture. Here's just some examples, just some, and there's still quite a lot. Culture is the way we do things around here, from Deal and Kennedy. Ed Schein calls it the layered characteristics of shared beliefs, values and artifacts and loads of other posh academic words that help people solve organizational problems. The Ethics Center Guide for Culture says that is a sum of its shared values, principles and behaviors. James Reason says cult safety culture consists of a learning culture, an informed culture, a reporting culture and many other cultures. Dave Snowden says that culture is an emergent property of interactions over time and, and we could just go on and on and on and on and on. So ultimately we're sitting here talking about culture all the time, day to day, and no one really actually knows what it means. So what actually is it in reality then? What, what can we work off? Well, Carsten and most of the academics kind of lean towards the fact that it's not really a thing. It's not anything real. It's definitely not anything physical. What Carsten calls in the book as a construct. And a construct is kind of like, and he uses this really good joke in the book to say it when two fish swim past another fish and they go, morning, and then the other one goes, morning, water's nice. And then the other two fish are going along and they go, what's water? So he's like, culture is water, except we can't feel it or touch it or anything like that. So it's a thing that's around us all the time. That's a construct. So you can feel here that we're getting real messy now. Um, so we're starting to understand where this is going. So Carsten actually gave us seven principles in the book to help us move forward with culture. And I have kind of really, probably not done them justice, but simplified them and kind of put them into two bullet points just for the sake of YouTube. So firstly, culture is not a physical object. It's a property of groups of people, which are complex, full of seen and unseen interactions. Normal kind of linear approaches and cause and effect relationships don't work. So it's not as simple as saying, we do this call to intervention, then this will happen. It doesn't work like that in the, in the complex environments. And step-by-step -step approaches like the safety culture ladder and safety culture step-by-step -step doesn't, just doesn't work. And just to summarize that point, it's a direct quote from Carsten in the book, um, which I'm gonna read now. Substitutions of real issues with culture distorts the objective. Instead of working to improve safety or well-being, for example, the aim has become to work on safety or well-being culture. And this is based off a naive assumption that if we improve the safety and well-being culture, then everything else will improve as well. So where do we go from here then? Because we've kind of just tore apart the concept of a culture. Well, Carsten again is very clear in the book, if we want to fix culture, then stop talking about culture. There's a reason why the title of the book alludes to Fight Club, because he actually uses the direct quote but replaces Fight Club for safety culture, obviously, in the book. He actually says, if you want to 
change it, you want to do something to the point of that direct quote is just focus on what you're trying to change and just crack on, just do some actual work. E.g. if you're talking about reporting culture, you're actually talking about reporting hazards or incidents, etc. So just get on and focus on improving reporting. Ultimately, using the word culture, it makes us feel good. It makes us feel like we're dealing with something probably smarter than what we all are. It makes us feel nice and warm and fuzzy. Um, and, it, and it helps us, maybe not intentionally, but it helps us kind of cover up the complexity of this. I think it, it makes us feel better. It makes us feel like we're doing something because ultimately what we're trying to do is really messy and complex. And when we talk about culture, we can kind of just go, ah, it's the culture, it's a good culture, it's a bad culture. And this isn't just us, you know, think how many people use culture, it's such a popular word. So ultimately, we just need to stop talking about culture and just crack on and do some real work. However, culture is here to stay. I ideally would like to see safety culture completely disappear, but the word culture is definitely here to stay. Carson's even got a chapter in the book that's called it's here to stay or safety culture is here to stay. It is after all a word that your managers, my managers, everybody's managers, customers, clients, everyone, they get it, they understand it. Obviously they don't really understand it because none of us really do, but they, they feel like they understand it, they know the word and it makes them feel good. So ultimately, read the book, watch this video and you're in your head you're like, we're not actually talking about culture here, we're actually talking about just doing better reporting or better whatever. You know that in your head, but if you have to say to your boss, yeah, we've got a really good reporting culture, who gives a shit? Just, just crack on. So use the word kind of to help you out, but ultimately just remember, it's not really a thing. So after we've kind of got all of that, how do we actually change culture? Well, again, Carsten alludes to this a few times and directly talks about this a few times in the book as well. Firstly, you've got to understand what culture is. It's this, this kind of property of groups, this property of interactions. So it's about relationships. Therefore, if you really want to change culture, you need to focus on relationships. Focus on those little interactions between manager and employee, employee and employee, safety department and finance department, and so on and so forth. It's, if, it's, if it's an emergent property of the interactions of people or the interactions of groups, then you need to focus on the relationships between them. Carsten talks about cultural preferences in a book, which I really like, and I actually think this is how we should move forward with culture, is that we're not saying we want this culture and this is exactly what it looks like. We're saying we have cultural preferences. Like in safety, we might say we have cultural preferences. We want to see a presence of psychological safety, for example. We want people to be people-centered. We want leaders to be people-centered. They're cultural preferences, in my opinion. Carsten might be watching this being like, he has totally misunderstood the book. Hopefully not. I think it's very clear what Carsten's trying to say in the book. Let's stop spending so much time talking about culture and just start doing some real safety work. Okay, my thoughts on the book then. Well, I got a bit of a bias because I am a bit of a Carson fanboy as I was uh, as I was told in the book club that I'm involved in at Project Millennium. Ultimately, I did enjoy the book. Um, I will say that probably could have done with some more positive stuff to move forward with. Um, there was a lot of negative stuff, but I also kind of felt that the industry needed to read that. Like it's a really frank book and it is really kind of eye opening and it's it's a bit brutal at times but it's what we need to hear, like because we just spend so much time talking about culture. The amount of meetings I've been in and people just going, well, yeah, it's culture, isn't it? And like, yeah, but what does that actually mean? Well, it's culture, and you're like, we're not getting anywhere with this. So I really enjoyed the book. I would like to see the complete demolition of the word, of the phrase safety culture. I think to get rid of it, it's not a thing. The organization has a culture, and then underneath that, there's loads of mini cultures, um, but I really don't think people have a safety culture. Um, but anyway, those were just my thoughts. I really enjoyed the book. Uh, I thought it was a kind of breath of fresh air. We really needed that frank and open conversation in the beginning of the book as well. So overall, I thought it was a really good book. Okay, everyone, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please think of one person, just one person that you can share it with um, or if you can't be asked to do that that's fine just hit like maybe leave us a comment about how you're gonna how you're gonna use this in your workplace or what do you think do you think no culture really is a thing let us know in the comments below um, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button because you know you should if you want to find out what more of what we're doing go check us out at rebrand and safety or go check us out at project millennium as well and can find out what we're doing over there i'll catch you in the next video safe